The world of large language models is constantly evolving, and one of the most exciting developments is the rise of vision models. These models have the incredible capability to understand and interpret images, opening up a whole new realm of possibilities. Imagine being able to have a conversation with an AI about a photo, asking it questions about the content, or even using it to generate descriptions automatically. The applications are vast, spanning from assisting visually impaired individuals to revolutionizing how we interact with images in creative industries. Speaking of innovation and vision models, there's actually a vision benchmark leaderboard called the Wild Vision Arena Leaderboard. If you're familiar with the LIMS Sys Chatbot Arena, where LLMs battle it out for dominance based on user votes and an ELO rating system, then you'll love this. The Wild Vision Arena leaderboard takes that same concept and applies it to the world of vision models. You can find the link to it in the description below. Currently, one model stands out as a top contender, and that's the Mini CPM Llama 3 Finder. This Vision Model 2.5 version is one of the top open source vision models available, and we're going to test the updated 2.6 version capabilities today. But first, Let's talk about how you can actually run these incredible vision models on your own. That's where LM Studio comes in. This fantastic desktop application makes it incredibly easy for anyone, regardless of their technical expertise, to experience the power of local LLMs. LM Studio acts as your personal AI control center, allowing you to download, manage, and interact with various pre-trained LLMs including vision models like the Mini CPM, directly on your computer. This local operation ensures data privacy and gives you complete control over your AI experience. The beauty of LM Studio is its simplicity. It's designed to be user-friendly, so you can jump right into experimenting with different models without needing to be a coding wizard. You can customize settings, explore various use cases, and even connect with a supportive community to enhance your journey into the world of AI. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on more awesome AI content. All right, so if you're ready to unleash the power of vision models, let's do a quick walkthrough of LM Studio. If you haven't installed it yet, no worries, I've got you covered. Head over to the LM Studio website, download the package for your operating system. They got versions for Mac, Windows, and Linux, and install it. Once you're all set up, open LM Studio. Navigate to the Discover page using the menu on the left. Think of this as your AI model shopping mall. Type in Mini CPM in the search bar, and you'll see our star of the show. The Mini CPM version 2.6 Llama model. Click on the drop-down menu under Choose a download option and select a model size compatible with your computer specs. Now a quick pro tip, when downloading vision models in LM Studio, you might need to download a separate smaller file called the MM Proj Vision Adapter. Don't worry, for this example, we'll be using the LM Studio Community version of the Mini CPM, which conveniently bundles the vision adapter with it. I always recommend going for the highest quantization that your system can handle. I like using the Q8 versions as it fits very well on my system and runs at a speed I can tolerate. A great thing about LM Studio is that it shows you the model file size and even tells you if your device can handle it and if GPU offloading is possible. You can check your device specs in the bottom right corner. To keep track of your downloads, click on model downloads at the bottom or the My Models folder icon on the left. Their LM Studio will provide you with a list of your current and past downloads. Once your mini CPM model is downloaded, it's time to head over to the chat UI and load it up. Make sure you select the one labeled with a small vision icon in the model dropdown. Now that we have the model loaded, Let's explore the settings. Click on the settings gear icon next to the model loader box. Here, you can adjust the context length. I'm going with 8192, standard for the Llama 3 models, 
and set my GPU off loading to 12 to speed things up. Play around with the other settings, and if you're feeling adventurous, take a look at the advanced settings by clicking the All button, which hosts the setting for Flash Attention, Rope, and Seed settings. You can set your system prompt and temperature by clicking the Lab Vial icon in the top right corner for a few more advanced settings options. And to manage your chats, simply use the sidebar menu to continue old conversations or start fresh ones. All right, let's test this bad boy out. I've got a thumbnail from one of my previous videos. I'm gonna see if I can get the model to describe this image and tell me what it thinks it was used for. I asked the model, describe what you see in this image. And here's what it came up with. The image is a promotional graphic for Llama 3.1 which appears to be related to local web search and open source tools like DuckDuckGo, Gina, SEOXNG, Brave, Google Serper, etc. The background features the head of a llama with bright eyes looking directly at the viewer. This suggests that the product or service being promoted is likely focused on improving internet searching capabilities in a more ethical or privacy conscious manner compared to traditional search engines like Google. Okay, that's pretty good. It nailed the theme and even picked up on the privacy aspect as this was a feature for the open web UI search feature which you can run locally. It got most of the spelling in the image correct besides the CRX NG and hinted that this could be used for promoting, which when thinking about it is kind of true. Let's see if it can pick out the colors. Let's ask it, what colors are present in the image? And it says, the dominant color scheme of the image includes deep blue for the background, white and yellow text for the main title Llama 3.1, local web search keywords such as DuckDuckGo, Gina, SEOXNG Brave, Google Serper, etc. is in black, while Open Web UI stands out prominently in red on a darker blue stripe at the bottom of the image. Very nice. It even identified the different shades of blue. But more impressively spot the open web UI logo placement towards the bottom of the image in red. Not too bad. Okay, last question. Provide five most likely used cases for this image. I really want to see if it will mention that this might have been used as a thumbnail and a video. I would really be shocked if it did. Okay, it didn't quite guess that it was a YouTube thumbnail, but it did say social media post, which I'll count as a win. Now for round two, let's start a new chat and challenge this model with an image of a meme. We'll use the notorious distracted boyfriend meme, to be precise. I created a custom version of the meme, showing OpenAI's new models as the attractive female walking by, AI fans as the boyfriend and every other model provider as the jealous, soon-to-be ex-girlfriend. I really want to see if the model can use its reasoning skills to find the meaning behind the meme. Let's find out. I asked the model, what can you tell me about this image and what do you believe is the meaning behind the image? Here's the model's analysis. The meme appears to be a commentary on AI technology, specifically OpenAI's new model. It contrasts OpenAI new AI model with every other AI provider. The individuals in the background may represent stereotypical groups within these categories, such as self-proclaimed experts, AI nerds, or representatives of various competing companies. The meaning behind this meme could be to highlight how innovative and forward-thinking OpenAI's new model is compared to other, potentially less advanced models offered by competitors. It suggests that while others are seen walking, possibly representing a more conventional approach, the individuals highlighted in red are running ahead with cutting-edge technology, OpenAI new AI model. 
This kind of meme often aims to provoke thought or discussion about advancements and competition within the tech industry, particularly concerning artificial intelligence developments. Interesting. It definitely understood the elements of the meme and the focus on open AI, but it missed the humor about AI fans being distracted by every new open AI release. Let's see if we can nudge in the right direction. I'll ask. Okay, but what is the meme insinuating? What is the joke behind the meme? And it responded with, The meme seems to be playing on a common trope where individuals are labeled as nerds for their interest in technology or knowledge about specific topics like AI. In this case, it's humorously suggesting that people who follow OpenAI where those perceived as AI nerds have jumped ahead of others, every other AI provider, by adopting the latest and most innovative model. The joke lies in contrasting these two groups, one being seen walking or at a similar pace with competitors while the other, represented through bold text on individuals, is portrayed as running far ahead. The humor here might also stem from exaggerating certain characteristics to make a point about progress within AI technology and perhaps subtly criticizing others for not keeping up. So, even after those follow-up questions, it still didn't quite grasp the humor in the way I was hoping. Sometimes, even the most advanced AIs need a little help understanding our human memes. That being said, the mini CPM is incredibly capable, and with each iteration, these vision models get even better at understanding not just what's in an image, but also the nuances of context and humor. Have you experimented with a mini CPM or any other vision models? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to stay updated on all things AI. Until next time, keep exploring the fascinating world of artificial intelligence.